What's up guys, we are back with another video. So today's video, we're gonna try to get the car up and running again. For those of you guys who don't know, um, follow me on my Instagram, cause then you guys would have seen it there. But I'm gonna play a clip after I kind of explain everything that happened. So we were on our way home and started to smell something burning. And uh, my passengers also smelt it. So, um, kind of noticed after a little bit, my ABS light, my slip light, my VDC light came on. So we came up to a red light. I put the car in park, turned it off, restarted the car just to see if, I don't know, maybe it needed a reboot or something. I don't know. I didn't know what I was thinking. Light turned green, started the car up, perfectly fine and tried to throw it into drive and it would not go into gear after that. Um, then we started to notice the entire cab of the car was filled with smoke. We got out, um, an officer thankfully was right there because uh, we came pretty close to getting rear-ended several times. My brake lights hazards, nothing was working. Um, popped my trunk because I started to notice smoke coming out the back. And then the, a huge cloud of smoke came out of the trunk. So I thought maybe my air suspension. Um, but then again, I know that wouldn't cause all those issues. Um, not only that, but all my electrical, everything is perfectly fine on the, on the car. So we were able though to um, unlock the transmission, get it on a flatbed, towed it home and um, that's where we're at. So right now we are about to go to AutoZone. I'm gonna pick up a brake switch. We're gonna see if that's what the issue is. Uh, it's a $43 part. So we're here right now. We're gonna we're gonna pick it up. I already got it removed off of my car, so I'll show you guys all of that. But while I'm inside buying the part and then driving back home, let me go ahead and play these clips for you. Well, this happens. You know, just go with it, so totally I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna start to walk too. <laughs> yeah, man, dude. Uh, no plus one. <laughs> no plus one. Wow. Jolly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> what happened? I'm not sure yet. Right, thank you. Okay. Alright guys, we are back home now. So as you saw, we got the car towed. Thanks you to that officer and to that tow truck driver because he really hooked me up big time. He was not supposed to take me that far. Um, but anyways, um, that's pretty much that and here we are uh, so here's the part I looked it up brake switch and let me go ahead and try to show you guys where this goes all right guys so here is the main or not the main but the interior um, uh, harness and coming right here it is burnt crisp I unpeeled everything, okay, so this was on there, but this was all burnt, um, all crisp, you can look at that. Everything was burnt, uh, all of this, those wires are just completely exposed, burnt. Um, it starts right here, and it goes all the way up, and then actually, as you can see, we moved the seat down, but right up in that area as well, everything is also uh, starting to get burnt. So what does this mean? It means... Um, we have to pull the interior, at least everything on the driver's side. Being in there, it smells like electrical fire. It's it's disgusting. So I have the battery completely disconnected because I do not want to mess with anything electrical um, while having the battery still uh, on. So we're gonna go ahead and have to remove the seat and this panel as we, I already started to do and the harness bar most likely 
Um, so a lot of work to do and then pull up the um, pull up the carpeting and kind of trace everything and we're gonna buy a new harness boy and I'm just gonna go ahead and film as I go um, that way we can try to squeeze in as much as possible in this video so please bear with me I'm not gonna show you details of us or of me removing everything all right, this is already, all right, this is already big progress. Um, so we can see, I already know for sure, this is part of the harness. I was looking at pictures of it all laid out and I was wondering what these all go to. So now I know what that's for. So the next thing that I wanna try to go ahead and do uh, before I already call it a night is get this piece off, actually. Maybe we can go ahead and get this back seat out. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this back seat out. Let's see. Put that there. So I can already see two. It looks like this also might be the harness, but I don't really know quite yet. And we won't really know until we get this off and then I just follow it down. Um, the reason why this is hard to get off is because it's hitting here. So that's why I say we may have to uh, remove this bracket at least. That one we should be okay, but for sure, most likely that's going to have to be removed. In a matter of, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe, 10, 15 minutes, I got all of this out. Huge progress. Awesome. I feel like I can probably sleep tonight. So, it looks like, yes, we were we will definitely need to obviously lift the carpet, but it comes down. Looks like it goes through right there. Oh, God. And it comes down here. And it connects here. Shit, man. It goes all the way the fuck across. Oh, just to here. Cool. So, it goes from there. <clears throat> All the way here to the trunk and then there so now what i want to go ahead and do is let me go ahead and get out i want to see what we're working what we're working with boys let's lift all of this up so let's get all of this this is all the air ride okay said all air right let's take this fuse panel out my my big concern is right here so it comes all the way into that so whew. all right i think what i want to do is try and get um how do you remove this let's get all the carpeting i think folded is what i want to try to do all right guys I'm done. I am done for tonight. Um, so pretty much, like I said, and everything in the trunk is going to be straightforward. Pull it through. Unhook all of these switches right there, right there. Pop that off. All of that will come. Looks like we're going to have to probably pull this bracket off. Boom and boom. Whew, if it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. And then it comes right here. These are for the seat, I already pulled that. This, I have to see where that goes. Ground, run it, run it, run it. And then this is where it's gonna be tricky. That's where we're gonna need to see uh, kind of what's going on. Flashlight, let me just try and show you. So if you look right there, it's burnt, okay? Ooh, that is burnt too. This is burnt as well. So, don't see anything else. So, that's burnt. This is burnt. And then, like I showed you all back there. Whew. We're back another day. Um, so, today, what we are going to do is um, so, like I said, that, that cable right here runs to there somewhere so we're gonna remove um 
probably going to try and remove this entire console. So we'll remove the whole armrest part, this part, and then see how to remove that. Should be pretty straightforward, just some screws in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again off camera, but I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly uh, how it is I did do it. That off, straightforward. Um, you just got to remove the two screws here and here for the armrest. And then uh, that piece right here will just pretty much pop off. For this, put it in neutral, whatever. And then that'll pretty much pop off. We're gonna have a screw here, right here. And it looks like there should be another one, but let's go ahead and get those removed for now. All right, so it looks like we're also gonna have some type of clip right here. So let's see if we can just maybe get this popped out. Yep, there we go. There, and then a screw here. So it's gonna be screw right here on both sides, and then just these two. And then that's pretty much that, as you can see. All right, guys, there we go. We got it out. It's just those four screws, pretty straightforward. Um, so now, pretty much, it's a matter of, I can tell you right now, I bet you anything, this is the harness right here. And it goes right into this bad boy, which is, I forget what that's called. Um, something with the airbags and whatnot though so i think what i'm going to try to do is pull the carpet under like pull it away from here like that and then we're just going to fold this entire carpet back oh man that was that was difficult <laughs> it's kind of glued down right in that area right there but uh, we got it and like i said it goes to the airbag module um which i believe is what it is and look what's under here bubble gum uh this looks like a f old school phone thing pills ew pills pills vitamins <laughs> but we got it guys um we just have to unplug that figure out where that goes unplug it take out the ground run everything back it looks like yeah and then yeah these go to the seat guys it's quite a bit later in the night so i feel like i could uh hopefully get some stuff done um and i'm looking at this this is for my records but also just to show you guys in case you guys have a similar issue or need to change this out so these cables right here these little ones go to a plug right here all right and then it looks like it goes all the way up I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see it. Uh, shoot. Somewhere up there. That that white one all the way at the top. Right there. I believe. Alright, so this whole piece drops down and it's right here. So um, from what I see on pictures, I believe this whole is it a clip? I don't know. I gotta inspect it more and see. I don't know if it's gonna pop out. I don't know what it is, but this whole box might have to come out, but I'm gonna try to see the best that I can, but that's all that's left. Lever right here. This swings out and then it goes up and then it detaches now from here. So with that being out, we should should be able if i can squeeze it all in to get this all out we just have to be careful we don't want to hit anything else there it is and there it is the hardest part in my opinion is done so now we have sorry guys Bear with me, bear with me. What is this? There. Uh, there. This is the air ride, so we're gonna have to get this situated. There it is. The hardest part. <clears throat> that disconnected, we got this one. And pretty much, you just have these little these little knobs that just turn and then they'll come, they'll come off. All right, so we got all of that. And then uh, it looks like now we have two more. This was never 
plugged into anything, I don't think. I don't know where this came from. This looks like it was, it's, this is definitely an airbag one. So I don't know where that is at, <clears throat> but we have a plug that comes off. One there, one here. So we'll get that and then a ground. And then I'm going to have to definitely remove this. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five bolts. And then we should be able to just drag everything pretty much um, out. I don't wish this upon anyone, guys. It's not hard. It's just um, very time consuming and a lot of stuff has to come apart. So I have one more plug. Let me show you guys what I did. Okay, so this we have, I cut here because on the new harness, I think I'm just gonna tap into these because then I'm gonna have to remove everything out of this. And the same thing here, um, you have the plugs that go to your speakers and then your sub, I cut. I'll just splice in. Otherwise I have to get back in the car. Oh, actually I think this is for the third brake light actually. And then I have to still get everything. So one plug left that I believe at least, which is right here. So I don't know if I could reach in that whole little hole and disconnect the plug. If I could, we're home free. Everything is out. So I got to try to get into their whole bumper and tail lights and everything off. Thankfully I had enough space. So I don't know if this is it, but uh, where is it at? There's a plug like right there. Let me get the light under here so you guys can see. But there's a plug and I think that's it. Actually, it's right there, that blue one right there in the center of the screen. Through here. Slowly. That's it. That's all we did, guys. Uh, oh my god. And technically, there was more that kind of went through, but I kind of just, like I said, I cut and I'm just going to splice in. Or not splice in, but reconnect to the new harness. But this is like what? What do you think? 10 feet? Yeah. At probably. Least, at least 10 feet of harness. Hey guys so it's the next day now i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out um but yeah so that's pretty much that last night i actually held it up on my garage from this point here and it went all the way across and some so this thing is crazy long and it's just wound all up in the car pretty much but uh nonetheless we got it out and um i'm happy looking at it you know we have what is this I don't even know what this goes to. It's some wire right here. But, you know, everything is just freaking burnt. And, uh, like, look at that. All these wires are completely, like, look at that, melted together. Barely even pulled apart. All melted, you know, and then it goes all the way up to here where this is burnt. And then somewhere around this is burnt i don't remember where oh all of this is burnt in here um maybe that exposed wires and that i know of um more might even be burnt but we got it out and i just want to say um to people who are too scared to do stuff uh just get out there and just do it um i've never ever mess with anything like this this is 110 percent new to me i've the only electrical i've ever done on a car was uh my air suspension and that's super super basic this is you know um throughout the whole car and this has to get removed that has to be removed i mean you could see we literally tore everything apart on the car so my advice to you guys is if there's something you guys want to do and you're too scared to do it and you'd rather just take it to a shop and pay 
you know, if I had gotten this done, I don't know how much it would have cost. Close to a grand, if not more, I can guarantee it. And if that's what you'd rather do, I mean, by all means, but doing it yourself, uh, it's a learning experience. <clears throat> and when it's all said and done and the problem is fixed, you can say you fixed it. And that goes with everything, body work, um, cutting up stuff, like like for example, my body, my body kit, you know, I cut that up like a week or two, not even a week or two, about a, yeah, about a week after I bought it, I heard, was cutting it up and it was scary, but just get out there, just try it, do new things, learn, and trust me when I say this, you'll be very happy that you did. Um, the accomplishment is huge, but Anyways, guys, um, it is 100 degrees. I just hit 100. 100 degrees in the garage. It's already 106 outside. It's going up. It's going to be hot. So please bear with me if I don't post as much content. It's really, it's just, it's extremely, extremely hot. Plus, as of right now, there's not too much that I can do. The car is not running. I can't do anything with it due to everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you guys who did watch it, Please hit that thumbs up if this video helps you guys out at all. And stay tuned. I don't think I'm going to make a video on me putting it in just because it's tedious and it's pretty much exactly uh, what I just did, but reverse. We're just putting it in. But I will keep you guys updated, though, on when I get it in and it's all plugged in and everything and test it and everything works i will definitely definitely keep you guys updated and stay tuned we have some more good stuff on the way um the new exhaust is inside we have that i do have some more interior stuff going down um and yeah some pretty cool things to come so i hope you guys subscribe stay tuned hit that bell notification hit that thumbs up leave some positive feedback down below hope to catch you on the next one stay cool stay safe till next time as always peace out